everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with an Organize With Me video again and I thought I'd share with you how I choose what area to kind of do next. So basically, at the beginning of the week, I kind of look at my room and look at the spots that are really bothering me. Now don't get me wrong, there's a lot of like what I call hot spots that are bothering me, but which one is actually like grinding on my nerves? So that long container that when I actually divided all the page kits and you know, I put the pattern papers together in the cardstock and then I dumped all the digital files in the hat container. I was like, oh, I'll just start, you know, making page kits with this and make a dent in it. Well, I've done probably, I don't know, 30 to 50 page kits and it didn't even put a little dent into this. So I thought this week was going to be the first thing I tackled. Now I'm going to tell you, you know, in real time, I wish I could divide stuff that quickly. Now another thing is when I do these, I don't try to rush through it either because then it's stressful. So. I put an audiobook on and I was kind of relaxing and I was putting, you know, the viewfinders together and the one and a half inch circles and the two inch circles, not by color, but more by shape. Then once I have everything separated, I'm going to take in, um, it's, I can't remember, I think it's one iris trays and I'm going to try to put as much as I can into those trays. I might bring in two, I think it's two trays uh, because the film reels and the tickets, they're kind of long, so they kind of need it their own space. Now, I have another container that's actually on my desk. It's just a little square one, and I thought I was gonna be able to get to that on this day, but this took me 45 minutes. So at the end of 45 minutes, I was like, Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to do anymore, so I'm going to keep, you know, that square container for another day. And I think that's the key to I guess getting it done is one is to take everything in little chunks. And then once you're finished that that bite or that chunk, if you don't feel like doing any more, move on, do something else. You know, like I said, at the beginning of the week, what I do is I go ahead and I take a little film of everything that I want to organize that week. And it does two things. You know, it makes me go around my room and say, okay, what do I want to organize next? I also try to pick kind of projects that all together won't be more than an hour and a half. I, I used to do the whole thing like on Saturday or Sunday, but I found that an hour and a half all together, when I was cleaning, then it was an area and I kind of needed to get it done. But now that it is organizing and it's little bits and pieces I'm organizing, I don't need to do it all in the same day, which is amazing. Like I said, this took me 45 minutes. And then when I was done, I was like, okay, now I'm just going to do another video. You know, I'm going to film, uh, make a page kit or a page for Patreon. And I wasn't, I didn't feel like I needed to work, you know, necessarily on doing, uh, organizing for an hour and a half. Now that I have everything separated, I took, it's an iris container, but it's one that I made myself. Actually, I have... A class that I did for that to make your own iris trays because you can't find them anymore so you can make this I made this out of chipboard and um, paper to put it you know to hold it together and then I just painted it with paint and I made this probably eight years ago and it's still holding out really really good so I'm really you know, happy with that. And, you know, once I get everything all organized, maybe I'll take maybe a Saturday and I'd like to do different configurations of this, you know, 
maybe I could make one that's just basically divided in two. So two six by 12 areas on each side or do two long pieces and you know, just kind of do different configuration. Now, another thing that was bugging me is that spinny thing that I got at Michael's again years ago. And even before I, you know, started working on it, I think it was the day before when I was looking at, you know, what I could possibly clean, I had three heat tools in that. And I'm like, those are bugging me. Like they're standing out of this and they're all messy. And then I remembered that I had an empty drawer. So I actually moved those heat tools in that drawer, which now they're nice and safe. They're right behind me. If I need them, I'll just get them out of that drawer and then I can put them back. And a lot of things, a lot of times I'm noticing that when I'm doing things like this is when I'm going through them, I'm like, oh my goodness, there's so many things in there that don't belong in there. And that's why it looks so messy. So I'm going to try, like I said, we're doing the hot spots and eventually we're going to do the drawers, you know, like I'm, I want to do everything. But first I want to do what I can see, what is bugging me in the room. You know what I mean? Like there's still some areas, even though my room is clean, there's still some areas that when I look at it, I'm like, that could be kind of tidied up a little bit and kind of, you know, make it look a little better. So we're going to take it section by section and we're just going to get it done. And I'm going to, one thing I want to do is label everything. So then I know, okay, you go here and you actually put it back in that drawer. And then hopefully my room will stay clean. So, I mean, there was cords in here. There was earbuds. There was so many things that just did not belong in there. So I just got put that in, you know, I have spots for those things. So I put the, those things where they belong and then I moved on. The last thing we're going to clean today is another thing that I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't even look. Every time I walked by that Rascog, by the way, this is my Christmas Rascog, like my December daily or document December Rascog. And every time I walked by it, I would hit something and it would fall on the floor. So I was just like, this definitely has to be the one that I do next. Now in my craft room, I have one, two, three, four, five Rascog. And at this point, um, this is the third one that I've cleaned up because I made one not too long ago that I put all my stuff for uh, coloring like stamps. So that one is still really clean because I just did it, right? And then I did my Tim Holtz Rascog and now I'm doing this Rascog, which is my Christmas stuff. And then I have another one that is... Um, all mixed media stuff and I'm telling you I'm keeping it till the very last one and then I have one under my desk which um, actually I did today which is going to be on next week's video. Now the fun thing that you know me filming this is that I can actually go you know this is something that has been bugging me and it literally took me 20 minutes like that spinny thing that's been bugging me for months and that took me 20 minutes to clean. It's like, you know, it's been bugging you for a year or two and it was 20 minutes. And each of the Rascogs, you know, they all have different stuff in it. They all, you know, are different, but they all take me about 30 minutes to clean. So next time, you know, if it gets to that point again, I can say, hey, that's 30 minutes and I can have it cleaned up. And so that's kind of nice. So what I'm doing with this is I have sheets that I had pre-made that are the different page protectors. So like the C designs, the D design, and I've already put that back. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use chipboard right there. I just put it and I'm going to divide all the different sections. So I have a section that I'm going to have my templates, I call them. Then I'm going to have a section that I'm going to have 
pattern papers and then I'm going to put another chipboard and then I'm going to have a section where I'm going to have my stickers, my 12 by 12 stickers and then I have 6 by 12 stickers but I don't like the way they kind of fall over and move all over the place so I'm going to take some clips and I'm going to clip them together and put them in that container that I have and I do that with quite a few things and then that way you know yes when I take the stickers out I'll have to take the whole bunch but usually if I'm working on these cards you know I need to take the whole bunch out anyway now I did not clean that iris container that's going to be another you know organize with me I'll take that out and I'll clean it right today I knew that I wanted to clean my Raskog and that iris container should not be in that Raskog anyway. So I found another place for that and I put it away. Now the way I looked at it was it wasn't on the clean, you know, agenda for today. So I didn't mind doing that. And another day, you know, maybe that'll be my... Um, thing to do will be to take two of those iris containers and clean them out. So the time for that iris container will come, but right now I just wanted to get that Raskog done. And in a few seconds here, I'm gonna show you the end result. And I can't believe, like when I showed you, you know, the little video at the beginning, it was so messy. There was stuff like hanging out everywhere. And now every layer is very clean every layer like this layer is almost empty and those pages at the side those are done and they used to hang out the front of the tray and I used to knock them down every time now they're somewhere safe and next time I'll you know that I need to use that everything will be ready I just wanted to show you this is what we cleaned last week and I'm using it already I have you know, my mixed media layouts for a Patreon for August, all ready to go. And now when I have a little bit of time, all I have to do is grab one of those trays and I move on. Now, today I was kind of puttering upstairs, getting a bunch of stuff done. And I went, oh my goodness, I did not journal on 10 layouts this week. So I have to do that. And I think a way to make myself accountable, plus I've had a few people say, oh, can you just show the layouts a little slower? So by journaling on the layouts every week, then you'll get to see the layouts a little slower and then I it's gonna keep me accountable to get them done. Now at this desk that I'm sitting at right now, I have a container just above this and that's where I put all the layouts that I want to journal on. Now I have to say I think there was 20 in there this week and I think the last time I just chose layouts I'm like you know what I'm just going to choose you know about two weeks worth and then I don't have to do that next week. So there's still 10 layouts to journal on for this coming week. Now this process took me about 15 minutes, 15, 16 minutes to get 10 layouts done. So that's not bad at all. And it probably took me, you know, between five and 10 minutes to put the layouts away. So I know I need to put at least 25 minutes a week where I need to, you know, set time aside to do journaling on some of these layouts and put them away. So this is the last layout, so that's it. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, and I wanna thank you so much for watching. Bye.